So if you've been waiting to use Power Apps, now might be the time to do it. This is an app that I can use on my desktop, I can use on my phone, or I can use in a Teams environment to work as a dashboard within my environment. And it's very, very simple to build. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to build this really simple application. And then we're gonna walk through how to add your application directly into your Teams environment so that every time you go to that Teams environment, you click on that channel. We can do it based on the channel, okay? Every time you click on that channel, boom, that menu is gonna come up for you and everything that you programmed in is gonna work. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to it. So the first place we start, here's what it looks like inside of Power Apps, but we're gonna go ahead and reduce that screen. We're gonna create a new one so you can kind of follow along to see how you can create this menu for yourself. So the first thing we wanna do, now I'm using, by the way, the online versions of Teams and the online version of, app, of Power Apps. They both have apps you can download. It kind of acts the same way on both of them. So, okay, so here we're gonna, just gonna say good. We're gonna hit insert. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna insert a box. So here, I'm sorry, <laughs> gotta go over here to icons. I just wanna in, insert a box. So here, I'm just gonna go down to where it says rectangle. It's kind of down towards the bottom here. So you can see all the other cool things that you can import. And right there, I don't know why they put it all the way down there. Here's a rectangle. So here, we're just gonna put this up here as my header. And you can play around with this, it's really simple. Notice here that I'm right here on tree view and I've just added this rectangle. Now I'm just gonna name this um, header, okay? So, now, oh, and a lot of times I'll put what it is. So I'm just going to put IMG for image, and I'm going to name it header right there. Okay, easy. Now I'm going to add text to it. Okay, so I want to add a label. So I'm just going to hit insert. Remember, I'm still here. I'm right here on screen two. I'm just going to hit label. Now, you see the label right there? That's easy. Notice it's right there. So I'm going to, again, whoops, I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to say, um, it's a text field, actually, it's an LBL is what I name it, label, and um, we're just going to put in title, okay? So, we're going to stretch this bad boy out. Now, we're going to say, well, that, that doesn't look good, so I'm just going to double click on Notice the text is coming up here under this text field, but I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say, I want to change the color. So, here it is right here, color, and change it to white. All right, so now you got white. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change this bad boy to 25, okay? So we can just kind of play with it, see what works for us, but that's good right there. If I wanna change this to menu, I can double click on it, or I can just click on this where it says LBO title, double click right there, and I can say my menu, okay? Now notice how the Y is not holding up there. We're just gonna Click that, kind of move it around a little bit. Looks good, right? We're going to use short. We don't need to add it long like that. All right, so congratulations. You've made your first menu. Now let's put something on it that works. So this is just the header, okay? So now let's go ahead and enter and add an image. We're just going to click on our image box here, and we're going to say upload. And we're just going to find an image. It doesn't matter what image you add. Seriously, it does not matter what image you add. So let's say here blocks. I don't know what it looks like because it hasn't loaded yet, but we're just gonna hit open, see what it looks like. So we can add any image for the icon. In addition, you could go to icons here and drop down it and you saw all those icons that I used when I added the rectangle. So you could add those as well. And it looks like we picked a pretty big image there is a limit here of 64 meg and 200 megabytes for the entire page. So you do want to be careful of the image that you load, that it's not too big. Now, it looks like we loaded one that was kind of massive here. So that's okay. Very colorful, very nice image. So we're just going to keep it because it looks kind of cool. Okay. So here, let's just say this is what we want to do for our first image, for our first 
menu item. Now, we could do this as a pop-up. We could put this in a box. There's lots of things we can do to make this look really cool, but we're just gonna do it like this for right now, okay? Now, we're gonna say, I wanna add some action to it. Now, notice here it says image, but I wanna add this right here. I'm gonna add a second one right here, okay? Actually, so we'll just kind of put that one like that. And these look like infographics, actually. And we'll put this one here. So we'll just have two menu items on our list. Okay? So very good. Now we go back here. Remember, we're right here on media. Now we're going to go back here. Now notice here we have two images. I'm just going to leave them as image. Okay? And there we go. So now, see, I can't even do that, right? So IMG blocks. And then this is going to be um, IMG glass. Okay. Pretty easy. Now, I want to add some action to this. Rem remember, we have action associated with this. So I'm going to add some action to it. But before I do that, let's add a label again. So we want to add another label here to say what we want to do. So we're just going to click on label. It just comes up right there. Just drag that down, and pull it out a little bit. Remember, double click on the text there. And we're going to say here, we're going to say planner. So we're going to open up planner with this one. And then because this is exactly like we want our text, remember we can modify our text and the attributes of our text over here. Let's go ahead and hit control C, control V, right? So that's if I go here, copy, go here, paste. Double click again. Notice it's highlighted. And here, let's say that we want to put calendar. So we're gonna we're gonna open up our calendar with this one, and we're gonna open up planner with this one. And we can do again whatever we want to uh, center it, things like that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add action. So we can add action either to the image or to the text, or to both. In this example, we're just going to add it to the image, but you can repeat what we're doing here and add it to text if you want. So let's go ahead and select that, and we want to go to on select. Now, the main command for launching something off of the menu is, that's right, you guessed it, launch. So I'm just going to type in L where it says FX there, and I'm going to hit my tab key. Now, remember, when I do that, notice I just hit L for launch, and it's the first one on the list. Do you see it there, launch, right there? Notice I'm not selected on it, and I hit tab, and it's going to fill it in. If I wanted label two, for example, I would just use my arrow key, one, two, and then when it's highlighted, I would hit tab, and it would add that label, but that's not what I want. I want launch, so I'm just going to put in launch, Hit tab. We're good. Now it's just asking me, where do I want to go to launch? What do I want to launch? So for this, we're going to cheat a little bit because I've already done this. And this is planner. So we're going to click on the tasks icon there. And we're going to say on select. And here is office where that, where those planner tasks are. So you know what? Instead of cheating, let's go ahead and uh, go back down here. And let's see how to get that. So here we're going to click, notice how long it took to paint there because it's a massive image. We may want to not use that in the future. But let's go ahead and look at our um, environment. We're going to go to Planner. It's going to fire up Planner here. And we're going to say we want to go, when we launch, we want to launch to Assign to Me, any task that's assigned to me. I'm just going to click on the URL, which you can't see right now because it's, let me shrink the menu, the screen here for you. Okay, so we're just going to hit copy. Okay, I'm going to put that back where it belongs. All righty. Now I'm going to go back to Power Apps, and we're going to say Launch, and we're going to hit that. We're going to hit Control-V to paste it in, and then we're going to hit Go. Put the um, parenthesis on the end there. Okay, so now that should look good. Launch, we're ready to go. And looks like it's given us a problem. Let me see here. Why would it give us a problem? Oh, the quotes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So we got to put it in quotes. So here, um, we're just going to click on that bad boy, and we're going to put him in quotes. So just put a quote there and a quote there. Okay, now we should be in good shape. We're red mark away. We're good. Let's go ahead and test it to make sure it's working. Go ahead and click on that to preview, and we're going to click on this. And now look, it's going to automatically open up and put us through to our planner board. So that's pretty cool, huh? So now let's go ahead and create a, um, a link for this one. And we're just going to, instead of getting it wrong like it did last time, let's just go ahead and copy this one. So we're going to open up Google Calendar. So I'm just going to copy that right there. That's what you use. But again, you just open up your Google Calendar here. Okay, whoops. You just open up your calendar here and then just copy this. Okay, so again, I'm just copying the URL right here. I'm just doing a copy. Okay, and then we're just going to close that out and let's go back to Power Apps here. Go back to screen two. And we're going to click on this and we're going to go here. We're going to say on select. And again, what are we going to use? Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. That's right. Launch. Hit tab. And we're going to open it up with a quote. How's that sound? And close it with a quote. Close parenthesis. Now we're good to go. So when we run this bad boy, we'll click on here. We're going to get planner. Go back. Click on here. We're going to get calendar. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay. So both and so it works. It does exactly what we want it to do. That's literally all you have to do to create your menu. So let's go ahead and add this menu into our Teams environment. So to do that, we're going to go up here. We're going to hit Save. Now, because we're using this main menu tablet, I'm going to go back to it real quick and make sure, because it's on screen too, I'm going to make sure it's up on top. So here we're just going to say Move. There. So that means that when this app opens first, it's going to be on the top. It's going to be the first thing we see instead of seeing this, which is the standard one. Okay. So again, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit save again. And then I'm going to hit publish. I'm going to publish this version. Good. Now remember, this is the old version that was published. So we're going to go ahead and add this. Let's go to McKay here. We're just going to hit general. And we're going to add it. So to add this Power App that we just created, we're going to go ahead and search for Power App. You see it right there? Now, do you see here that this tab's already been created? We're going to pretend that's not there. We could click on that because we added it to another one. So if you have multiple channels that you're adding the same menu to, you can add it that way. But we're just going to click on here just to kind of give you the full experience. So here, we're going to go ahead and post. Once this comes up, we're going to be able to select that app that we just created. And you can see there that we can't see it right off the top, but let's go ahead and go down. And it is right there, main menu tablet. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to hit save. Now we can post the channel to the tab. That's fine. So good to go. Now we should see it, my menu. Of course, remember, large image is going to load a little slower depending on your network speed. Now, we can drag this over there, but it will only go to this location, okay? And so now, we're, we have a menu right built within our Teams environment. So as we're working and we want to go directly to this menu, we just hit Main Menu Tablet, boom, and we're there. We could also re rename this if we want. Let's just say we rename it Home. And we hit save. So it'll always pop up on our screen. And then again, we can just click on it and it's going to load the calendar or click on it and it's going to load a uh, planner.